So I gotta be honest with this one. Audiobooks generally put me to sleep a lot of times. I don't know what it is, it's either like it just doesn't grab my attention. But this one, I will say now, definitely grabbed my attention. Killing the SS was definitely a very fun one to listen to. Especially listening to Bill O'Reilly talk. Especially considering the content of this. It's literally a whole group of people hunting down these famous Nazi leaders. And I gotta tell you, it was fascinating to listen to this. Listening to all these hits that they have on these certain Nazi leaders like Heinrich Himmler, Adolf Eichmann, Joseph Mengele, Klaus Barbie, Martin Bormann, and so many others. So the whole concept of killing the SS is literally just a history report regarding some of those famous hunts for some of these historical Nazi figures. And I honestly was hooked the entire time. So I honestly picked up the audiobook at first, because I figured that would be an easier way to start with it. Like I've stated before, but anyways. So I think the biggest stories that really grabbed my attention were the hunts for Joseph Mengele and Adolf Eichmann, respectively. Honestly, listening to how this group of people was hunting down Adolf Eichmann, they like tracked this dude recorded his times of whatever the heck he does until they finally managed to grab a chance to nab him take him to israel and put him on trial for all of his crimes against the jewish people joseph Mengele somehow managed to get off easy with not being caught and ending up just dying drowning in the ocean in south america also can we talk about that for a second what is up with a lot of nazis suddenly hiding out in south america I can just picture this now in my head. You see these guys watching as the Third Reich crumbles, and the collective thought, somebody mentions this. I hear Brazil is nice this time of year. Everyone just packs up their shit and leaves. Just the thought of that is weirdly funny to me, of all these people just migrating to South America, who are apparently pro-Nazi? Like, What? So in all honesty, I'm not the biggest history buff at all, but this one definitely gave me a piece of history that no one will probably ever forget, World War II. And hunting down some of these famous figures in what they call the Schottstaffel was definitely interesting. Some, like Heinrich Himmler, were definitely a little disappointing because he was just like briefly caught. Not even, like, what, a few weeks, a few days after he escaped Germany? Like, <laughs> come on. But Adolf Eichmann and Joseph Mengele were definitely interesting stories to listen to. As well as the whole thing with Klaus Barbie and Martin Bormann. How there was this whole debate on whether Martin Bormann was actually dead or whether he was still in hiding. And listening as these people are hunting them down. The Israeli Mossad. It was interesting. It was definitely very interesting, very gripping, and very informative if any of you want a little piece of history to study. Especially if some of you are history buffs with World Wars 1 and 2, or just a bit of history fanatics. I honestly recommend picking this up, especially in the audiobook style. Because just listening to Bill O'Reilly narrate this whole thing, was definitely a treat. All in all, recommend this highly. So, just to recap, I definitely recommend this one, and my overall score for just the audiobook alone for Killing the SS is a solid 9 out of 10 for really good, informative dialogue. Listening to Bill O'Reilly narrate this was also a treat as well as overall just introducing me to a little bit of history that even I didn't know about, which I feel like they need to cover that more often in American schools, just cover more of history. Not just U.S. history, but like all of history. That's on personal little nitpick, but anyways, 
There was a few times where it might be a little quiet. Other than that, not too big a deal. All in all, rate this 9 out of 10 for good story, really well informing, really well done with narration. All in all, go and pick this up at your local bookstore. This one was definitely a bit of a treat. And once again, thank you all for listening. This is Rambling Collector, signing off. Peace out.